You have many people talking about many things here. And I will add to that, that what we give our energy to is crucial now. Everything is about cultivation. We are coming into such a level of awareness that when we sit in silent stillness, we can sense all sorts of movies of reality and holograms around us. As soon as we give something attention, we can be sucked into that movie. So that means absolute clarity. I'm a scientist. My background was a 10-year career as a computer programmer involved in international banking, making rich people richer. Now I am a multi-dimensional programmer or coding. But Coda, we don't want you to trust blindly. So I want to introduce a machine that some of you might like to play with. We are going to go into a lot of recoding in the work that I do with you. Simple resetting. And do you see this little machine? It's called a Zen Chi machine. You can get different ones on the internet at different prices. If you've never felt prana from yoga, tai chi, or qigong, or meditation, this chi machine will oscillate your body, work with the lymphatic system and the fluid, and when it's finished its cycle, you will get a rush through your body of pure prana. When you recode the bio system, Okay, put thumb to finger. When we do this, we are recoding with intention into the fluid of the body. Now, you know you have a high percentage of water. The brain is mainly water, 80% or something. The body itself, very um, water-based. How many of you have seen Dr. Masuro Emoto's work on the programming of water? Okay, if you haven't, have a look at how water responds to commands. If you say, I, I hate, or you feel hate, a crystalline structure will form that's very messy. If you say, I love, or I am love, again, fluid responds differently. The crystals change. So when the chi rush comes, you can start to, to test your coding. If you're chanting Om Mani Padme Hum, the energy in your body in the prana rush will flow differently. If you are coding I am pure love, the energy will flow differently through the body. If you code I am eternal, your energy will flow differently in the body. So the reason we do this is just to say, hey, body, pay attention. The master is awake, and I am re-instructing you to behave differently. Does that make sense? So for any of you who need proof, and you've never understood the energetic shifts that can happen in your body from recoding, you might like to invest in this machine. Because as you follow the call of your heart, you might be bringing in, downloading a brand new pattern for this next evolutionary cycle that you will then offer to the world. And I personally like to test what I'm about to share with others. I like to test the energy flows. So everyone has been coming up to me, as they do, and they say, I hear that since 1993, you've had no need to take physical food. How many of you find that interesting? Okay, so I don't want to spend much time on this because we have other work to do, but I'm going to show you an image and I'm going to give you a code. We've given this in Congress before. Okay. If you're recoding your system, your body loves you to sing your code. You'll find 
that your body will respond so differently when you sing. So here is a way of reprogramming the body. What if you, in silent stillness, as the master within it, gave your system permission to feed in whatever way it needed? Before we do these words, in unity consciousness, as we evolve deeper into that, anything you hear that sounds good, that your heart responds to, you don't have to write it down. You just say yes, yes, yes. Lock it in, lock it in, lock it in. Because we live in this field of infinite intelligence that is benevolent. So anything we are asking for that is beneficial for our evolution and human evolution, this infinite intelligence is going to make our truth. So what if I decided I'm a system of energy, we're in a new chapter of evolution, yet, yet the last moment is done. Yesterday is done. Every moment is a brand new beginning. Forget about the past. It only has as much influence over you as you choose to allow it to have. Every moment is brand new. So what if I decided how do I, as a system of energy, want to operate in this realm and all realms? What if I said, from this moment on, I exist in the rhythm of health on all levels, physical, emotional, mental and spiritual health. I exist in the rhythm of happiness on all levels. I exist in the rhythm of harmony on all levels within myself and with all sentient life. Lock it in, lock it in, lock it in. Yes, yes, yes. What does your heart say? Yes, 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 yes. Then this benevolent quantum, quantum is infused by benevolence. What drives the quantum field is supreme mind, supreme intelligence. So quantum responds to our dominant thinking, feeling patterns as we know. So, okay, lock that in. Is energy going to change now within you and around you? Did you feel it in your heart or was it just repeating words because I said that's a nice code? If it came from your heart, then things start to happen. I believe in grace. I believe in magic. I believe in everything flowing with joy. How expression of our full nature isn't hard. It's not a struggle. It can be a very joyous unfoldment. So what then if you said, okay, I've locked this in regarding how I, as a system of energy, want to operate in this realm? And what if you then said, I have a temple I dwell within that has the physical structure, the emotional structure, and the mental structure. So now I am inviting physical body system. I'm inviting you to feed yourself in whatever way you need, direct from source or from physical food or both. But the end result of your feeding must be that I exhibit perfect health. 
No attachment, no chasing, just a recode of the physical system because we honor its intelligence. The most complicated biocomputer that is already being washed with pranic waves. So now you step back, not chasing, not trying to attain. Emotional body system as essence within this temple. I love and honor you. Feed yourself in whatever way you need so I attain and maintain perfect emotional health. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Mental body system as essence within form. I love and honor your intelligence. Feed yourself with the best mental nourishment you need so I can attain and maintain perfect mental health. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Now, this is he how we let go of limited systems of reality that keep us bound in duality by honoring how this beautiful temple has been created. So, yes, we have the Chi machine to check your coding, but let's look at this. Okay. Let's say I code with song. I've already just instructed the physical system that I want it to feed in whatever way works for it. Some physical food, maybe. Pure source energy, great. Always only pure prana, why not? But how do you need to support that code? But before we go on, here is our prana song. Are you ready? I told you I'm not the best singer, so forgive that. Oh, my vitamins, oh, my nourishment, everything I need comes from prana. Prana in the morning, prana every night. Prana flows through me, makes everything all right. Yay! All my vitamins, all my nourishment, everything I need comes from source energy, from prana. Prana in the morning for breakfast, prana every night for dinner. Prana flows through me and the stronger it is, makes everything all right. Now the key then is about how does everything become all right? So let's look at this matrix. Many people are running in this first one. Isn't it interesting? Very messy energy patterns. You could say we have two pools of energy. This one on your right here is when you are living in a smooth pattern at one with your pure nature. Do you see how big the blue area is? And then you look on the right, and you have that same pattern inside, but it's small, isn't it? Then have a look at the blue pattern around with the sparking energy transmissions. Why is that blue, the dark blue, so dark and so big? Because that's when you're deep in duality, and that is when you are mesmerized by the world. You're trying to be a good mom. You're trying to be a good daughter. You're trying to be a good wife. You're trying to be a good colleague in business. You're trying to be a good husband. You're trying to be a good everything. And all your senses are doing the focus on the external world. You play the games of blame game and judgment, and you're not taking full responsibility for the creation of your reality. How dominant is this? This dark blue pattern is an, a, an accumulation of experiences, the genetics, the culture, the educational paradigms, all those times when you were bullied as a child, when you didn't fit in, 
all the difficulties when you were raped. I've been raped. Join the club. Two out of three women in our world are abused in some way. One in three women will be raped. Join the club. Can it destroy you or not? I've had people try to kill me. Guess what? That's part of life as well. Are you going to let it destroy you? Are you going to let it hold you back? Or are you going to go, that was yesterday. I am done. This is a brand new moment. And from this moment, this is how I will operate on earth. Now, when you can get to the point and you say, I'm done, then the magic starts to happen. Spiritual realities, oy, 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 they can be so complicated. Do they have to be? For some people, yes. Sometimes it has to be complicated. But in this new energy we're coming into, it can be so simple. Now... If you're in that first circle, you're going to need this. It's just a fact. If you stop taking physical food, your body will die. It needs nourishment. But if you've tuned yourself from one zone to another, I love duality. You don't change duality. You just vibrate out of duality zone. It's just a different television station. You have duality, which is built to make us rich of heart. Do you know that planet Earth is the most heart-rich planet through all the universes. Did you know the frequency coming off planet Earth is harmonizing energy as far away as the Orions, Andromeda, and other systems who need a little harmony? Did you know that you are considered the grandest soul, the grandest being, far more than those who've never had the courage to descend so far. You have a body. That means you can feel, you can make choice, you can feel love so intensely, you can feel everything, you can see the beauty of creation. What if you said, I now program to see the good in all and the God in all? And the eyes change, and the matrix within you changes. What if you decide, I am no, go no longer going to look for what's wrong with me? Could you decide to love your humanity and no longer seek to change it and instead to cultivate your divinity and experience it? It's what we call in unity consciousness flipping. To say I'm done with complication, I'm done with difficulty, I want my experience on life to be joyous and easy and graceful while I'm also allowing the divinity I, I am to transmission through me and take away all my hunger and the love that I am to spiral through me and rebalance any patterns in my humanity that no longer serve me because that's what love can do. Love heals, love rebalances. So how I'm nourished all the time because I eat 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Do not say I do not eat. I eat more than you eat, but I eat cosmic microfuel. I'm eating the most superior petrol that is ever available to the human species in a higher level of consciousness, okay? If you weren't already fed by prana, you couldn't have life. Prana source. You have a body because of the love of the pranic flows. So I want to show just a few little energy patterns. Here we are in a messy energy field. 
we start changing our frequency through a lighter diet, through vegetarianism, through mind mastery, through meditation, and the, f and, and the desire to be at one with pure nature. And the fields start to change. And instead of transmissioning messy energy patterns of limitation, well, patterns become clear. Then we start to receive more flows, continual communion from infinite intelligence. Then we start to transmission through us into the world the frequency that is perfect for an evolving world. What a difference, the me game to the we game. So looking at this, I've never worked with visuals before. Here in the center, you're in oneness, in unity. It's cycles, it's circles. The red circle on the top, people living deep in duality, and that can be perfect for each soul. You have young souls here. They've never been on earth before. They want to be deep in density. They want to eat meat. They want to drink alcohol. They want to have a lot of random sex. How can we judge them? How do we know what dimension they've come from? How do we know why they've come and what they want to indulge in? We have no right to judge. We think everybody should be vegetarian or everybody should meditate or everybody should do the things we love. But that's not specifically maybe their blueprint in this embodiment. But let's say you're done with deep in duality and the beta brain frequency and you want an easier life. Well, then you've got to change the brain wave patterns, which is what meditation does. It takes you into the alpha spectrum where you have mental clarity and higher wisdom comes from to you, not from a book, not from a teacher, not from anything outside, but from the endless wisdom you have within. And you follow that intuition, you follow the call of your heart, and you apply the guidance. And then you drop deeper again out of that zone into another zone where the brain wave patterns of theta beat. Now in theta beat, the whole physiology of this matrix behaves differently. But you can't anchor there when you're still in self-judgment where I've got to fix it. We cannot stress enough, there's nothing wrong with your humanity. The Divine Mother says, can you love yourself fully on all levels of your being? Can you love your humanity, but can you cultivate your divinity so that the humanity you carry is a tiny layer? It's not the dominant frequency within you. So you follow your guidance and you come into this central point of oneness and unity where you are free from every human hunger. There is no more mental hunger. There is no more emotional hunger. There is no more physical hunger. And you enter into a state of freedom. You enter into a state of awareness where everything on planet Earth you love, where every human being you love, because you can see the bigger picture of why they are on Earth and what they have come to give and what they have come to receive. And this is one of the signs in true unity consciousness, the understanding of patterns of energy, and that we can just go click, 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 click. Duality, Shambhala. Duality, heaven on earth. It's a movie theater. When you're done watching the movie of duality, you take yourself out of the theater. You don't try to change the movie. It's an important movie. You just go out of that theater and you let yourself go into the theater that has another movie that your being goes, yes, now this feeds me. 
This is my zone. And you anchor there. So many, many zones of existence. I like this. Some people, they think they are a leaf on a tree. That's all. Now, when you identify constantly with your human personality self, you feel alone. You feel like a leaf on a tree. You get buffeted by the winds of fate. Sometimes you feel good. Sometimes you don't feel good. Self-knowledge, self-mastery, self-responsibility, self-awareness allows you to expand consciousness and you realize you are not just the leaf, you are the branch, you are the tree, you are the roots and you are connected with every other life form on what we call baseline. Let's look at baseline because it's click, click from duality to heaven on earth, click, click, frequency adjustment. I like this. Ah, baseline. This top little level, do you see the dots? That's where we're feeling separate. There's you and there's me and we're different. And what I'm doing is the most important thing and you should do it too, yeah? or whatever we're thinking, or right or wrong, or why aren't you like me, and why aren't you doing what I want, and husband of mine, why aren't you meditating, I meditate, blah, 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 blah. You know the games of judgment. So when we expand consciousness, you could say it's an expansion or it's a dropping back, dropping back into that which you really are. So you drop back. Now, here's a lot of little interesting zones you will pass through, the little lights. And eventually, you get down here. Now, down here, you realize that every human being is your own essence, nature, vibrating differently, expressing differently, and therefore, there is nothing to judge about another. Because aren't you beautiful? Here I am. Stand up. Wow, come up. Hello, me. Hello, me. Aren't I beautiful? Here I am in this woman's body in India. Oh, my God. Isn't she perfect? She's my essence vibrating differently. Oh, and because she's having this life for me, I don't have to have this life now in India. Yay, she's doing it for me. Now we're connected heart to heart. We're connected in our energy matrix through our body of light. I can sit and think of her any time and step into her life. Ah, there we go. Now, where's our Vietnam girls? Come. Oh, I've always wanted to visit Vietnam. It's on my bucket list. I will go. Wow. How beautiful am I? Oh, she's exquisite. Wow. This is my essence, vibrating differently. Yay. I'm not 60-something. I'm how old? <laughs> well, maybe 20 or 30. Uh, 33. 33. <laughs> Here am I, 33, in this incredible Vietnamese woman's body. Oh, black hair, isn't it gorgeous? I don't have black hair. I had white, um, blonde hair. <gasps> black eyes, wow, and teeth. Look at that smile. Man, that's beautiful. In this body, I'm Norwegian, yeah? I've got the Scandinavian genetics. But here I am in this body. How amazing. Thank you. Me. Wow, come here. Oh, I love this. Wow. Hi, precious. This is me. This is me. This is me. Hi, me. Here I am as a boy in this incredible country. See? Eyes of love. 
when you tune the physical vision to the channel of love, you see yourself reflected in everyone's eyes. Not eyes of judgment, but eyes of love. You've asked to see the good in all and the God in all and the essence in all. And as soon as you focus on that, whether they're asleep or awake, it doesn't matter. If that's your intention, their essence goes, shh, hi. Wow, you can walk into a shop buying a dress and as soon as you enter, the essence, the atman of the shopkeeper rises and you connect in a very different paradigm. And then maybe when you leave the shop, it drops back. She's back to personality self. But you leave her with a feeling of, I like that woman, I feel great every time she comes into the shop. Did you say anything? No. Did you have to convince her of anything? Did you have to say, better be a vegetarian, or you better be this, or why aren't you meditating? Or when you watch her before you came into the shop and she looks sad. No. When you are at one with pure nature, there is automatic stimulation of the essence in all to rise and match the frequency you are holding without judgment of life. Do you get that? You get that, I know you do. Thank you, me. <laughs> How amazing.